Alex, Bass, are you guys ready? So I'm going to take you guys to school in the Maloch. Who's sitting in the front? Who's sitting in the back? In the front, sir. All right, cool. Let's go. This is going to be fun. Can you fit in there? Yes. Ah. Put you on. Oh, sorry about that. You do your seatbelt first, and I'll do mine. Yeah, gotta get I don't think there's enough sense. room for both of us to do it together at the same time. Are you done? No, you do yours first. I got it. Oh, <laughs> there's no room in this thing. Yeah, I'm done. Are you ready? Nope. Ready? Three, two, one. Watch out. That's it. What? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> It worked. Yeah. I need to open. You know what? I need to open the window just to get some room. Yeah, exactly. Put your arm out yeah. the window. <laughs> Ready, steady. Here we go. Okay. Let's put the windows up because it's a bit cold. Yeah. About wheeling the windows up is like cardio. It's like what? It's actually it's cardio. It's, it's quite, it is like a cardio. It's quite stiff. But Fiat is in Polish, so why is no, this No, do you know what? The, the story with this car is, is that this is obviously what country's Fiat from? I Italy. Exactly. Yeah. So this is a Fiat 126, and it was licensed to uh, Poland, so that the factory here could be uh, could make it, and that's why it's called the Fiat 126P, P for Poland. And, oops, oh yeah, I can't put it into first when I'm rolling. And the story with this is that it, they nickname it the, um, the Maluk, Maluk. What does that mean? I'm not sure, I think it means little boy or something like that. This is one of those cars that many, many years ago, you know, many, many Polish families had this car. And how we are three, I've had people message to me when they've seen this and say, God, Joseph, I remember we used to go to the seaside with my family, five of us with luggage, but you know? This size? This car, this size, exactly. They would have three in the back, two in the front, and then they would put luggage upstairs, you know? So um, this car is very important to a lot of Polish people, and that's, to be honest with you, that's one of the reasons why I have this car in my collection, because, you know, we live here in Poland, and it's, it's only right to have something which has value because it's not all about supercars it's not all about uh rolls royces and things like that you know you have to have things that have character and history behind them do you know what year it was manufactured i think this is a 1984 84 i think 